be greedy when others are uh, fearful and fearful when others are greedy this quote is by warren buffett he also said one more thing risk comes from not knowing what you're doing so this video is all about these two things becoming rich avoiding risk so i'm sure you must be interested in this uh, topic who doesn't want to become rich so stay tuned on this video stay connected until the end to discuss about these two topics uh, we have uh, our good friend uh, real estate expert satish with us my name is balaji badrinath and together we welcome you to our channel value added realty if you are new here please uh, please click the subscribe now button and tap the bell icon so that we can notify you whenever we post such lovely videos at let us become rich satish welcome to our show sir how are you sir it's a long time so we both were uh, very busy uh, carrying out our day to day task and making our clients rich and um, yeah this this is the time uh, we thought we will do a small video and educating our audience about uh, uh, the pitfalls in real estate and how they can become rich uh, by the time at uh, the same time how they can avoid uh, the risk so uh, we are almost in the fag end of 2023 and uh, how's the year so far year is so far very good sir it is wealthy healthy and it, the prices are going very high and transaction is also going very very fast uh, prices are going very high and even like uh, what we can say that everything is went very good in 2023 so far it will continue in 2024 okay okay that's great so what i wanted is what i promised the audience is how to become rich let us not talk about stock market mutual funds and gold and what not we are talking about only we are experts in real estate so um we'll stick to real estate how people can become rich by selling real estate assets no that's what i was wondering risk will never comes in real estate unless you want it so people will always ask for only genuine deals nobody will ask any dispute properties or something so that way there is no risk in real estate the only risk will comes if you are not selling at the right time and in a, what we say on a maturity time like you know you are keeping this property for a very long period so that is we called as a risk hmm. uh, uh, even every time when we are selling uh, uh, when you are giving an uh, property we will always give an exit date so this is a investment amount and by by time of this period this will become this much of price that time you sell this property and invest in somewhere else right but uh, uh, i don't know whenever we are calling our client to sell this property they always win one step back so they might be fearing that we don't get the property somewhere else or they might be fearing that this is not the exit price and all so that is the major factor we are facing in 2023 the people are not ready to sell even at this price not only to 2023 satish because uh, there is a saying in the indian market that indians are asset rich cash poor you name it uh, let us take uh, gold uh, real estate people keep buying but they don't sell have you ever seen uh, ladies of the house selling gold you will never know there is a different uh, factor sir gold they sell what they do they generally exchange it they go they will exchange with the yeah. old ornaments and they get a new one but in real estate they don't do it mm. so real estate uh, they that's the main thing what they see whenever you going with somebody like you know sir uh, that the property i given it to you in 7 years before or 10 years before now is the time to sell it and uh, you know you will make a good profit and we let somewhere else no they don't decide hmm. so they don't want to take any uh, challenging in that selling so that is a major disadvantage they are you know undergo but they don't understand they feel okay i bought it at 1000 rupees now it is the price is 5000 rupees so they feel they are they got a very highest benefit they don't want to sell it but they are missing it there is somewhere else the same appreciation will be coming okay. so that is the major we are selling that whenever the time comes whenever you are feeling the market is so good like 2022 23 is very good this price will never come this price in anywhere in the cbd area outskirts ring one ring road ring road 3 and all you are getting a very high prices even the buyers are there you please don't think this will sustain for a longer period this will definitely will come down or maybe it will uh, you know sustain for a longer period you will miss out you will miss the some other places you will miss some other places where the properties are going to be very high like you know uh, uh, central government has coming with so much of projects state government is coming with so much of project but you uh, kind of holding properties in cbd areas it is not going to grow like what you are expecting it is already crossed like you know 30 40 50 thousand rupees per square foot and yeah. crossed yeah. don't expect it will double or it will triple maybe when when we are investing in 3000 or 4000 rupees uh, areas they will they will grow into two or three times more not in the cbd areas yeah. okay what do you mean by cbd areas see according to me the cbd areas have listed on few areas like uh, sadashinagar rmb uh, let's say jayanagar maleshwaram 
technical language what we say we say is ring 1 Mm. Ring one is a center Bangalore. We can say anything comes uh, in a circling around Vidhan Sabha. Mm. So Vidhan Sabha, if you go almost like on four to five kilometers around this, it is called as Ring one. So Ring one, uh, it is almost like completely saturated market. Don't right. expect it will grow. There is nothing any additional to come there. It is already overpopulated, and there is nothing else to come. Right. Now when nothing else to come, there is no other projects to come. The right. the projects will completely will be stagnant. And second part of ring two, what we say, this is a kind of inner ring road. Mm. Anything comes inner ring road inside, it is called as a ring two. So this is uh, apart from the CBD area, but uh, within the inner yeah. ring road. Within, uh, within the area. inner ring road, we can say completely. If you can South Bangalore, if you are coming, Jayanagar, JP Nagar, BTM, uh, even HSR. Katrugupe, Chandra Leod, Vijayanagara, this all comes in Nagar Bavi, Nagar Bavi, Dharanapura, Rajajinagar. This all comes in a ring two. Ring two also is almost completely a residential market. It is not going to be any uh, commercial market or industrial market. People are going out. People are going towards Whitefield. People are going towards uh, uh, smart cities. People are going towards Kanakpura. Uh, people are going towards Devanagari. Mm. So there the prices will go high. Not inside the CBD areas. Okay. Inside the CBD areas, what I know, they are enjoying the commercial benefit. Not right. the residential prices are completely stagnant now. Saturated. Even somebody will call HSR for thirty thousand rupees as a residential court, no. People will not suddenly buy. Otherwise, you go there only. You quote five thousand rupees. No, next day you will get an exit price. That's right. So, so uh, ring ring two is also same, sir. And ring three is also the same. We are facing it. Ring three, uh, you know, coming with I'll say I'll uh, you know the very posh. I can say uh, uh, completely like you know Sakar Nagara. Either this side you come Raja Rajesh Nagar or Visheshwaraya Layout, Banchangir Six Stage. Either you can go JP Nagar Eighth Phase and Ninth Phase, Anjana Pura. These are comes in a ring three circle. The ring three circle also oh, after COVID, uh, maybe after that BDI started auction of sites and BDI got so much of fund. They they completely last one one and a half year. No, they developed entire areas mm. and the prices is also very handsome. Like you know, we never expected Anjana Pura or Banshankari or Radhakrishna Nagar will come this price. Uh, Satish, I understand. So ring one. Many of the older areas like Sadashiva Nagar, Indra Nagar, Koramangala, maybe got allotted in the year 1970s, 80s. Today they are sitting on a gold mine. Why are they now selling? What would be the reason like? Uh, sir, see, uh, uh, whenever you want to sell a property, you need a reason. Okay, so simply people will not come and sell. They'll keep their money in bank. No, they'll wait for it. That is not the reason. So whenever the somebody is selling the property, they need a reason. Earlier, what will happen? Maybe in my, uh, uh, if you go back on 20, 30 years back, no. that time they need money for education or maybe they are doing a house construction or maybe there is a marriage in the house or maybe somebody's brother or somebody they are starting a business that time they will sell property and invest but these times like in this generation time what happened money value is so down property value is so high even you want to do education there is already uh, they have a cash balance right. they wanted to do marriage they already with a complete plan for a 10 15 years they have a sufficient fund So these are the uh, previous reason it's not working out now. They so have right. a sufficient generational wealth has been created. And there uh, is no requirement of funds. No requirement of funds depends on the property. That's right. what every time I will sell. No, the, nobody will sell for these reasons. Sir. They will sell only when they are upgrading in the property. See, somebody is having 2,400 square feet now. They want a bigger plot. They will sell and go there. What my point is now is, see these areas. What I'm uh, you know stated all these CBD areas, ring one, ring two, ring three. The prices are already so appreciated. Mm. Still, they are not selling. Means it is a completely they are uh, they are wasting what is you know they go. They may be ignoring more. ignoring the fact ignoring, that uh, you know ignoring it has ignoring is not a word. They they feel this is the highest they can get. Mm. Either they they want to sell because of maybe maybe the problem of income tax, maybe problem of GST, or maybe where where we should go find another property. They are not selling it. Mm. But see, the Bangalore is grown so. Uh, you know wider uh, mm. you cannot imagine mm. maybe somebody is starting from mysore road they cannot imagine what is whitefield is happening today mm. or maybe somebody from kanakpura coming no they cannot imagine what is dodbalapura and devanagari is happening today say so the actual real estate is happening outside of bangalore only right so maybe somebody say like in a previous video uh, uh, that uh, after the government has increased the guideline value the jayanagar is become the highest value in bangalore or maybe right. in karnataka The Jayanagar is same, almost same road where we are. Jayanagar is almost uh, eating sixty thousand plus, or maybe people are quoting eighty thousand rupees per square feet. Don't expect these prices in HSR. Uh, don't expect these prices in Kormangala. Don't expect these prices in uh, you know uh, Radhakrishna Nagar or Nagarbavi because the Bangalore is completely now as a micro market. They are dividing the city kind of. 
you know some people from whitefield they will never come to jainagar for a purchase or any shopping kind of they has a different market they has a different market yeah so what my recommendation is if your asset is not increasing a kind of roi or it is not growing her appreciation it is better to sell it to add up uh, what satish said uh, i have a report in front of me and it says that the most searched cities for buying a home or a uh, real estate investment the top of the list is namma bengaluru and comes next is mumbai pune hyderabad and last is kolkata and also the most searched localities within bangalore uh, number one goes to whitefield sarjapur road followed by kanakpura road electronic city elanka so majority of the buying is happening on the large uh, property segments most of the buyers want a large property three bedroom and upwards and uh, most of them are looking for uh, independent uh, investments so um, what do you what do you interpret uh, from this report uh, satish see sir bangalore was not the top if you saying from last i can say from 1980s or 1990s yeah from that time the major financial is from bombay so that time the real estate is so high and next comes delhi delhi is so high yeah next come pune and the people are investing so much in uh, bombay pune those kind no like people we cannot imagine those kind of investment has went there now the time for bangalore so even what we say the bangalore investment is not in the cbd areas again people will not come to invest in jainagar they will come to invest in outskirts they will come to invest in uh, you know the uh, whatever the new uh, yeah, you, central you government is coming at sir. it's whitefield sarjapur all it tech, it tech bus on karapura road Yeah. Tech pass only, but whenever the people is coming to investors, kind of when they say in a large scale, if somebody is coming with hundred crores of investment, he will not come to HSR, he will not come to Jainagar. He will definitely goes to Whitefield, he definitely goes to Devanagari, either he definitely goes to Kanakpura. It is what I am saying is from Vidhan Sabha, it must be around forty to fifty kilometers away. They are seeing as a township kind. They are not seeing for a small small investment. Whenever this kind of investment comes, the only outskirt will get very very appreciated, and the CBD area still remains the same. Mm. See why why Bangalore is coming this much of you know real estate is coming so high. when you compare to uk market they are coming down yeah uh, and you can see uh, russia and ukraine conflict you no know, they are so much of uh, you know they are losing the wealth and they are, they wanted to come to like dubai or india these kind of safe countries right and in that in india if you say the bangalore is a very uh, premium market now yeah this is a time to sell this is not the time to buy as an uh, you know uh, property holders we should not recommend to buy here Right. We always tell whichever property you're holding from 10 year, 15 years, or 30 years. This is the time to sell. Right. So this kind of market will never come again. Right. So maybe people are thinking it will go more high, more high, more high. It will never come. There is always a circle. See, after the COVID, the prices are went so high. Right. See, there are so much of uh, people wanted to buy a house, buy a second home, buy an independent villa, or buy an independent site. No, the prices are gone high. and secondly uh, you can see uh, i'll tell you what see if you go to some any new projects the builders are quoting so high price you cannot justify the price right you cannot justify the what builders are doing the builders are enjoying the market that is what we recommend to the independent property holders to right sell that on the premium market and take whatever uh, you know you feel comfortable even a 10 crore property if you are selling in here no you will get a kind of 2 acres 3 acres in outskirt okay so i am recommending to whichever property maybe the second third fifth property you are holding this is a very good market to sell it right and invest immediately in the outskirts of bangalore don't right. hold this don't hold the money when you are selling and don't hold the money for so much of period we are not recommending that because outs- outskirts is going so fast even even government is acquiring so much of thousand of crores of acres you know they are acquiring even devanagari they already acquired 3000 acres you know and even kanakpura they are acquiring and bidadi their latest already said it's a completely a smart city and bidadi there are so much of new projects are going to come even i think last 4 5 years before you seen the smart cities like shumoga davangere hubli tumkur mm. they you cannot imagine the prices there the right. only only our viewers maybe they belongs to uh, bangalore and uh, maybe some people from outside even the prices are compared to equally bangalore even if you see shumoga only I, i'll recommend after the new airport they have done the prices are gone like 2 3 uh, times uh, uh, faster than what we are expected right and don't hold properties for a longer period whenever you are invested you have a clear mind why you are investing there what is going to come there what proposal going to then what is the uh, you know uh, industries are going to come when you have to exit the property so we are here only to uh, kind of make you understand when to buy and when to sell if you are holding property some kind of fear maybe if i am selling i'll get gst if i am selling i'll get income tax if i am selling my children are not going to you know uh, 
uh, all this uh, whatever the money or something else you are doing it's all uh, nothing these are all the, not the reasons so i recommend whenever you have a good market sell a property invest in outskirts sell at 100 rupees buy at 3 rupees or 4 rupees that is a very smart way awesome so um sadish i want to ask you see two two three areas we discussed ring 1 ring 2 ring 3 uh, we have elaborately we have discussed about uh, you know this so these areas you know what was the price and why people are not selling and uh, the thing is uh, what do i do after selling like you know um as you said you know i will go out and uh, invest in the outskirts market like bidhi or in uh, kanakpura road i'll give you one example for that sir mm. if you see maybe 10 or 15 years before sadashiv nagar and malleshwaram are very prime so that time their uh, the prices may be is about 5 or 6000 rupees jainagar is 2000 rupees right okay so jainagar is outskirts that time right jainagar is completely outskirts hsr is out of bangalore only right if you see 30 years before hsr is not at all recommended to anybody so that time satash nagar is 6000 rupees jainagar right. is 2000 rupees hsr is about 300 rupees right so that time if you have sold satash nagar for 5000 rupees you would have invested in hsr about 300 rupees still satash nagar is about 30 35 but hsr is already close to 45000 rupees that is what we are selling that is what we are saying where to sell and where to invest right i completely understand so uh, i am sure uh, audience would be knowing by now that you know what do we mean by becoming rich uh, by becoming rich definitely you can become rich by holding the assets but in the paper but when you come out open and sell in the areas where already the prices are saturated you are avoiding the risk and you are becoming rich not only in the paper but also on the bank also you are taking a risk by holding the property uh for an x amount of uh, time not knowing whether this is going to be appreciated or not and whether these areas are going to boom or bust and um, with that it's it's all a food chain real estate is a food chain so the moment you have a saturated area you will have to exit and you will have to go to the newer areas as satish said i feel one more reason sir what happened see uh, even my uh, i say my father or maybe your father they are working their time they got salary is about how much 500 600 rupees per month they that time only they bought some properties they are still holding it so they don't have a reason to sell even i am earning now i got some properties so what my father say he'll pass it on to me and okay that's this is uh, whatever responsibility he had it is done now see bangalore market is not like that bangalore market is completely different maybe like if your father is holding a property in chennai so what do you recommend you only try to pass it to you you don't want to sell that property you right. just wanted to pass it to you and that what son is feels he son says ayyo idu nam tande kotrado why to sell it so these are all the main reasons they are holding but they are not saying maybe your father passed it on 10000 rupees how you are going to make it to lakhs or millions this is only real estate real estate is not only sentimental it is has to be like you know how to convert this into uh, uh, you know uh, more profit but uh, the problem is uh, what i feel satish is today uh, majority of the gen z that is the newer generations are becoming global citizens uh, many of my clients children are in canada new york and uh, gulf and australia very far away countries you, you i have not even heard some of the countries name they are there so such is the spread of our uh, indian diaspora and having said that it is wise it's very concerning also sometimes that living such a prime property or you know maybe a property in a residential area or commercial area might not be prime also leaving it to the other generation which they don't even know the, uh, what this country's laws about uh how they are going to navigate how they are going to sell mm. leaving them wouldn't be a liability is it going to an asset no, or is, liability that is definitely wrong sir see whatever knowledge you have maybe your children definitely would have yeah. that they they are they are completely they have done educated here and they have done some education there they got a job there they settle there 90% of they they are not interested in your inheritance they they definitely okay daddy you keep it i'll be there only so those kind of property when you are here no this is a very good time to you only exit from it and give it to your children so they will feel very uh, kind of a good decision of that i i will talk to many of my clients no they say no sir my dad is there i don't want to discuss about this property and all so that is a completely it's going like that only it is delaying like that only and some day maybe after my parents or their parents you know they will come after 10 years they say maybe that time the market is about uh, uh, i can say as 10 rupees they will sell it in 4 and 5 rupees only because they they don't want to uh, you know stuck up with somebody and take out all sanal so don't lose that cherry that is what i'm recommending it to any day if you're selling this is a good market to sell yeah bangalore is on top and when bangalore is on top your property will be always on top uh, don't allow bangalore to slip and your property to slip selling is making you rich 
and um, not only that see many of our, many of my clients satesh mm, uh, have said you know uh, look uh, we are not desperate so i used to tell them only one thing uh, sir i really appreciate your stand but you are not desperate today but when you are hale and healthy when you have sound mind when you have everything at your disposal you can relaxly you can sell on your terms but if you don't decide to sell when you have all the comfort luxury of life today there will be a time god forbid it shouldn't come but every time it comes to any of the family here when it comes you will become desperate so at that time we lose the valuation of the property we might lose the property also sometimes by taking wrong decisions so whenever you are on the top top in the sense the city is already on the top when it comes to the valuation when it comes to attracting investments at the same time when you when you are on top of your health when you are top of in your sound mind when you are top when your children are well to do uh, when you have everything when you are at the top just exit at the top see that's what i am recommending sir now the very recently government has increased the guideline value so and the uh, bangalore is getting so much of investment new new startups are coming big big companies are coming and the kdv uh, is acquiring lands bd is acquiring land because every government and non government knows the right. market is very good right very good and the builders if you can see 2018 to 2020 21 there's only few properties are launched and they launched and they they are going very slow of construction if you see there every day one one new projects are coming why it is coming market is good uh, but this is i felt uh, this is the right uh, time for any person who is in the ring one ring two areas the older uh, bd areas to exit because uh, majority of the markets are at uh, stagnant levels it has reached a highest peak no, if my, they don't what, sell my, now what my recommendation is it is for your uh, kind of uh, uh, commercial investment for rental investment it is okay but you are staying you wanted to invest in seeing ring one ring two this is not going to work out i right. recommend to invest only in ring three Or near to STR or ring road circles. This yeah. is far from Bangalore. Forty, fifty kilometers are far from Bangalore. Right. But compared to other countries' development, it is still growing. Bangalore is still growing. It is. Right. It is maybe I can say this is the starting point. Maybe four, five percent we have we have done. So so much of startups are coming. So much of investors are coming. Big big companies like uh, uh, what Tesla is coming and uh, Amazon is coming and Falcon is coming. There are so much of investment is coming. Means this is the number starting numbers we are still at. Don't don't you know think we are going far for investment. So that is far is only uh, get you more money. Yeah, that will become near very sure. Very shortly. That will become shortly. near very sure. We see the metro is still they are planning up to Bidhi and they are planning up to uh, you know Ravi Shankar Ashram. They are planning up to airport. Yeah. So the when infrastructure is going, uh, the prices will also will go high. True. So that is we are recommending and we strongly recommend to you know talk to the uh, you know expert talk to. Uh, you are known people. Talk to your chartered accountant. Talk to your advocates. Uh, yeah. Don't sit on the property. Sit on the cash and try to flip it. See, we are we are only recommending the kind of investors. We are not recommending to people are you know uh, uh, having one house or maybe one apartment. We are not recommending to that. People who have multiple assets. Multiple assets only we are recommending to that. That don't don't risk it on your own property. Or don't risk it on whatever you are keep it for your children sir. Whatever is the multiple assets you have. or maybe uh, you know you can generate funds through bank loan maybe yeah. you can generate funds through your uh, you know friends and the, those kind so we recommend to uh, talk to the expert and make an investment and uh, it's a good time to you know enjoy that appreciation thing. so it's a great time for you to get the appreciation what your asset ha- asset is deserved you have been sitting on the property for let's say 30 40 years this is the right time for you to exit bangalore is on top you are on top your property is on top so exit exit through colonial banker because we have huge uh, you know uh, buyer pipelines uh, as i said uh, the validation is done the due diligence and uh, due diligence are done and these are all the buyers uh, whom you can bank on uh, selling your property to the right hands it can exchange to the right hands and uh, satish one rapid fire round marana so i wanted to tell what all the rates which we can promise to our uh, sellers If they wish to sell uh, in areas they, like they, uh, they would be knowing more than us, sir. And let us see, let us just give. I tell you, I tell you what the property property holders in Ring One, Ring Two, they must be closely fifty five to sixty years of age. Yeah. So not not in our age, not the new generation. The property holders in Ring One, Ring Two, they would be having a very good friend circle. So they will be retired, and they will be discussing only real estate, nothing else. <laughs> I'm so sure. So they know very good. They know very good value of a real estate, but they they don't want to sell it. Maybe they feel. Okay, in my, in, in my circle, nobody sold. Why I want to sell that? All those things. Right. So don't be sentimental. If you want, still I can give you the prices of all the areas you can recommend. Panchangvi six stage, ten thousand. Anjana Pura, eight thousand. SMB layout, eight to nine thousand. Ah, uh, let's say Arana Nagar, fifteen thousand. Uttarali, fifteen thousand. Wow. So, so that is what I am. <laughs> that is what I am recommending, sir. See, Uttarali means people will like. I can say three, four years before. No, hmm. nobody was recommending. Yeah. <laughs> Uttarali has no connectivity. Uttarali has nothing there. 
we come to utrali ask for anything ask for school college temple yeah. multiplex hotels you ask me anything we say you don't know i don't know everything is there every brand is there utrali is a posh city now even even you are not selling at 15000 rupees in utrali what what more you expect you That's wanted 40000 yeah. rupees in utrali that may be two generation will come right so all right so i think uh, you got the idea um you have to become greedy when others are fearful fearful when others are greedy now is the time for you to become greedy and sell your property and uh, now is the time where you need to avoid risk by knowing what you're doing and to tell you what you have to do experts are here please dial the number flashing on the screen or reach out to me uh, let's have a honest discussion of what you have to do at this point of time um yeah rest is uh, the call is yours the property is yours it's all yours we are just here to guide you support you and thereby making you rich when you sleep we'll see you in our next video soon thank you satish